Hello, friends. It's Pastor Kirsten, and I am really excited to share with you an Advent meditation. First, we'll share the scripture. This is a passage from Luke 2, 1 to 16. It came to pass in the days of Caesar Augustus, the ruler of Rome, that a law was passed requiring everyone within his reign to be counted. The farmers, the carpenters, weavers, elders, all traveled to the town where they were born to record their names and the names of all people in their families in the book of census. While Joseph and Mary were in Joseph's hometown, Bethlehem, the time came for Mary to give birth to her firstborn son. Let us release our imaginations to walk with Mary and Joseph in the joy of this season. So I'm gonna invite you now to, to find a comfortable position before we continue with the reading. And, and then we're gonna walk you through uh, somewhat of a, a visioning experience. So you might be sitting, and if you are, then I invite you to put your feet flat on the ground and your hands on your lap or, or somewhere rested. You might be laying down and that's fine as well, but make sure that in some way you are touching the ground. Close your eyes and slowly breathe. Breathing in, breathing out. Find a comfortable position in a place of stillness. Breathing in, breathing out as your body and your mind relax. Take a deep breath and exhale. Listen to my voice, breathing in, breathing out. Traveling to the days of long ago, Jesus, feel the quiet cover you like a warm blanket. Breathe in, breathe out. It is just before sunset. The day is about to be clouded with the hand of darkness. You have walked many miles today. Your legs have grown weary and your burdens heavy. You can see the flickering lights of Bethlehem ahead. Clip clop, clip clop, hearing the donkey's hooves beating a rhythm on the dusty trail. The air is cold and filled with the smoke of weary travelers' campfires. Perhaps you shiver. And perhaps you see the light with excitement. Joseph the carpenter, looking not much older than you, walks beside you. His dark hair falling to his shoulders. The city is going to be very crowded. I hope there is room for us, he says to his pregnant wife. Mary, seated on the back of an old gray donkey, smiles and pulls her cloak around her. Mary looks very tired. Can you see her? Her body rocking back and forth with the rhythm of the donkey. As you draw close to the city, Joseph hands you the reins of the donkey. He asks you to look after Mary, and Joseph hurries ahead to find a place to stay for the evening. You lead the donkey, carrying Mary through the gates of the city. There are more people than you've ever seen here before. People are pushing and shoving and the strain of travel shows on their faces. You almost lose your grip on the donkey's reins as you are shoved to the ground. Mary
Mary shudders and lets out a sigh. Ugh. And at last, Joseph returns. Worry and sadness are spoken through Joseph's heavy steps. Joseph is unable to find a place to stay. Mary leans down and speaks softly into Joseph's ear. You realize that it is the time for the child to be born. Look after Mary. Joseph says to you as he hurries through the crowds, God be with you. You call after Joseph, God be with you. Mary sends out a deep sigh and, and reaches out to touch your shoulder. The child is coming soon. Mary tells you, silently you ask for God's protection and guidance. There must be shelter somewhere. Breathe in. Breathe out. Joseph is turned away from every house and every inn. You leave Mary's side, determined to help. Knocking on the back door of an inn, you beg the innkeeper to help find shelter for Mary. The innkeeper reluctantly motions down the road where there is a cave. He tells you that frequently animals are kept inside, out of the weather there, but it is clean and dry. Run, run to share the news with Mary and Joseph. And as you do, the three of you then set out towards the cave, down the crowded roadway, through the throngs of people, past the olive grove, until at last you see the cave. Joseph gently lifts the small figure of Mary down from the bony back of the donkey. Joseph speaks firmly. Friend, go ahead and make a bed for Mary in the fresh hay. Quickly gather the dry hay into a pile and then, and, then, and then smooth it out with your hands. The sweet smell of hay fills your nostrils. A small lamb nestles against his mother for warmth. From within the darkness of the cave, a cow's mournful voice sounds. God's creatures have also found shelter here from the cold night air. Joseph guides Mary to the makeshift bed you have prepared for her. You leave Mary and Joseph alone now, for this is their time and this is God's time. You move to the corner of the cave and, and lay back on the hay. The sheep move towards your warmth in the darkness of night, and you begin to pray. The presence of God surrounds you. God is here. In the still of the long night, you hear a baby's soft cry, a cry that will someday bring the world to its knees. Joseph stands beside you, child is a boy. His name shall be Jesus, he tells you. Joseph leads you to Mary's resting place. Mary smiles as you enter. The baby is resting in her arms, and Joseph strokes the baby's head. You look at Jesus. He is small and perfect. A tear of wonder, a tear of joy falls gently on your cheek. Kneel before him. Give thanks to God. Mary rests on one elbow and invites you to come closer. She holds out her newborn son for you. Would you like to hold Jesus? She asks. You settle close to Mary as she places the sleeping child in your arms. Maybe you're nervous. 
you are filled with wonder. Take a moment to feel the warmth of this child in your arms, the miracle of birth. Mary leans close and asks, what can we do for you, my dear friend? Jesus, in the stillness of this night, I have held you with my arms. God's Son has blessed me with his presence. The tiny hands of Jesus held my fingers and my heart. Welcome to our world. Amen. As you listen very closely, you can hear the angels in heaven singing songs of praise to God, glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to people of goodwill. It is now early morning and crowds have gathered outside the cave. Shepherds from a nearby field are offering praise to God. The shepherds tell of an angel who appeared to them, bringing news of great joy. In the city of Bethlehem, a Savior has been born for you. This Savior is Christ the Lord. It is time for you to leave this night of wonder. You bend low and kiss the cheek of baby Jesus. In a time to come, you will wipe away his tears and his blood from this cheek. Press the child's dimpled hand against your mouth. Rise, turn and walk away through the entrance of this cave, out into the misty dawn. As you walk out of the cave, when you're ready, open your eyes and return to the room you're in. At Middletown United Methodist Church, we pray that this meditation might serve you in your Advent journey. I might remind you that in, in all of the busyness of the birth story of Christ and the cultural celebration of Christmas that we have, how important it is to have a quiet, special time with the Christ child. Amen.